what medication best for rigidity the best medication for rigidity is liver dopa uh, and um, if it's just general rigidity however there is um, um, sometimes you get dystonia and some dystonia in parkinsons are not liver dopa responsive and then the second best choice in those patients is amantadine amantadine often improves dystonia in patients uh, something that has not been formally studied but it's just an expert opinion uh, so i use amantadine when i'm trying to reduce the dystonia a part of the rigidity estradiophilin was looked at for reducing motor fluctuation like wearing off and dyskinesia and was shown to be benefit um mild benefit and i have not personally used it and um, it, it does not have any proven role in slowing down disease uh, in disease modification MOB drug interaction. So the most common issue that with MOB that uh, that comes up is that there is concern about having very high blood pressures in MOB inhibitor and other MAO related drugs or serotonin drugs. So most often you see with antidepressants. So if someone is on antidepressant and you prescribe selagiline, rosagiline, the pharmacy always flags it. But I always override it. Uh, I have never stopped MOB inhibitor because of this concern for hypertension because it's only a hypothetical risk. Uh, it has never been reported in literature. I have never seen a case uh, in my in University of Nebraska for last ten years, twelve years that I've been practicing here. So I think it's more of hypothetical concern. MOB is very B specific uh, drug, selagiline, rosagiline. They do not spill over to MOA uh, in, in serotonergic pathways where there is a concern for hypertension. um the only thing to know about mob is that selagiline gets converted into amphetamine and it makes the urine drug screen positive for amphetamine so any patient who's working uh, i had a patient for example he was working in jail as a custodian and i told him that if if you go through urine drug screen and he told me he goes through a weekly urine drug screen as a custodian uh, so he he needs to inform his employer or not use selagiline Uh, uh pilots will be an issue they do often drug screen any other high risk job uh commercial driving school bus driving they probably have once a month or once every six month drug screen and if you're going to put them on mob inhibitor you need to tell them that selagiline will make the urine drug screen positive for amphetamine all right 